The Shinkansen is one of the easiest ways to travel between cities in Japan. You can buy passes such as the JR Pass that provide unlimited rides on the Shinkansen. You can learn more about those in our other Shinkansen guide, but in this video, we're going to focus on how to buy individual tickets both in the country and before you arrive in Japan. Japan has multiple Shinkansen lines across the country, managed by a few different companies. This is important to know as not all ticket machines and websites function the same or allow you to book all Shinkansen lines. Another important point to know is that Shinkansen fares are made up of two parts, the basic fare and the super limited express fare. Sometimes these will be combined into one paper ticket or you'll receive two. If you have to, you'll need to insert both when you go through the ticket gate. Finally, the last thing to know is that most Shinkansen have both reserved and non-reserved seats. Booking a reserved seat will cost a little extra money, but you have the guarantee of getting a seat on the train. The non-reserved seats are usually located in the first few carriages and are first come, first serve. Let's now talk about buying the tickets. First, we'll show you how to get them at the station ticket machines, and then we'll show you how to buy tickets online. First up, we're talking about how to buy tickets from the ticket machine at the station. So, let's get started. First, we want to press the English button. Now, we can either choose from searching by the route, or we can just go immediately into the reserved seat or the non-reserved seat. We're going to click reserved seat. And then we want to click Shinkansen reserved seat again. Now we can choose which station we want to go from. We're at Shinagawa, so we'll select that. But if you want to go from a different station from where you're buying the ticket, you can do that too. And now it comes up with all the different stations that we can go to. We're just going for a very short one this time, so we're going to click Tokyo. Next up is the day that we want to go. And now it's time to select the time. We're going to go for one o'clock, and there's just one adult going. On the next screen, we can see the trains that are coming, the time and the name of the train. If you are a little bit more over Japan's trains and you know the names, for example, Nozomi is the fastest on the Tokaido line and the Kodoma and the Hikari are a little slower, you can see that too. You can also see the ordinary car or the green car. The green car is a little bit more expensive and a little bit more nice. We're just going to go for ordinary car today. There are also oversized baggage rules, so if you do have oversized baggage, you are able to select seats for that as well. Last but not least, you can select your seat. You can do that from the seat map, or you can just let it allocate you a seat. We're just gonna do that. We want to get both the basic fare and the limited express fare today, so we want to select this one in the middle. And if you wanna get a round trip as well, you can do that, but we're just doing one way. Now we can see all the information about the train that we're selecting and if you feel all good about it, let's press confirm. And now comes the best part, the paying. <laughs> so this one is only credit card, but you can use both credit card and cash at some other machines. If you'd like to book your Shinkansen tickets in advance before you get to Japan, you can do that too on one of the dedicated websites. Generally, you can book Shinkansen tickets online up to one month in advance, and there's a few different websites you can choose from. If you're going to be using the Tokaido, Sanyo, or Kyushu Shinkansen line, then you can use the SmartX website. First, you'll need to register. To do this, you'll need to put in your details and you'll also need to register a debit or credit card. We've found generally that most international cards do work on this site. Once you've done the registration process, then you're all good to go and start booking some tickets. To reserve some new tickets, hit the reservation button. From there, it's pretty simple. You can choose the date, the time, the departure and arrival station, and if you have oversized baggage as well. The next screen will show you the different train options. You'll see the different times and the different kinds of trains that are coming. So we'll go ahead and select the train that we want. And once you do that, then you'll be able to see the different fares available. Again, much like the ticket machines at the station, you can see a seat map and select the seats that you would like. If you are traveling from Tokyo to Kyoto or Osaka and you'd like to see a view of Fuji, then we recommend booking seats on the right-hand side of the Shinkansen going there and then seats on the left-hand side of the Shinkansen coming back to Tokyo. Once you've got your reservation all selected, then you can just go ahead and purchase it. It will use the card that you registered with your account. Once you purchase your tickets, an important thing to know is how do you collect them? With the SmartX website, there's three different ways. 
Firstly, if you do just want to pick your tickets up from the station once you're in Japan, you'll get a QR code and you can use that at the ticket machine. Essentially, just look for the SmartX logo, look for the code button, and then you'll be able to scan your QR code and receive your tickets. The second way, and perhaps the method that we recommend the most, is if you have an IC card such as Suica, then you can connect your Shinkansen ticket to this. So you can just tap it on the Shinkansen gate and go through. If you're unsure about what an IC card even is, we do have a guide to that as well, so do check that out. The third way that you can have your tickets issued is you can use a separate QR code that you can touch on the Shinkansen ticket gates and go through. However, not all of the Shinkansen gates actually take that QR code. So you'll need to look for the specific gates that take QR code tickets. So that's the SmartX website, but what about if you want to use some of the other Shinkansen lines? Well, then you can use the website Ekinet. It functions much in the same way to the SmartX website. The main difference is, is you don't need to register an account before you start booking tickets. If you're just getting individual tickets, then we'll go down to the bottom here and select purchase tickets. You'll be able to search for tickets either by station or by the train line. We're going to select search by station. And then once you do that, you'll be able to put in your departure and arrival stations, the time and the date that you'd like to go. Once you input those details, it'll come up with a list of train options that you can take. A thing to know about train lines that you can book on this website is a lot of them don't have non-reserve seating, only reserve seat cars. So if you don't see a non-reserve seat option, that's because there are none. Then with the Ekinet website, there's usually two options for a ticket. They'll either be just the normal ticket that you can pick up at the station, or you can get a Shinkansen e-ticket. This means that you have to link an IC card to it and then you'll get a little bit of a discount. So we're gonna go ahead and select the e-ticket and once we do that, then that's when we'll be prompted to log in. Once you've created an account and signed in, then you'll be able to choose your seat and if you're happy, you can go ahead, add a payment method and purchase your tickets. Using the SmartX and Ekinev website allows you to book all Shinkansen lines in Japan, but there are two other websites that you can use as well. One is the JR West Shinkansen website, and the second is if you're going down south to Kyushu and using the Kyushu Shinkansen website. The slight benefit of using the Kyushu website are there are sometimes some discounts. The last option for buying Shinkansen tickets is using an online booking system such as Kluke. The prices are around the same, however Kluke does charge you around a 1,000 yen fee to use their service. The benefit of using Kluke, however, is that you can pre-book your tickets quite far in advance, not just one month out, like on the official websites. If you've got any questions about the Shinkansen, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Happy traveling!